I played one of the best low tier fighters in War Thunder, the Corsair Mark II. So this Corsair sits in the British tech tree at battle rating 2.7, and much like its American F4U counterpart, it's a bit of a brute. Oh! Nice, he's down. Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! Subscribe for more and enjoy. Okay, first match of the day is Zenzol. So, the Corsair Mark II, specifically in the British tech tree, is at 2.7 with a top speed of 410 mile an hour, a pretty decent turn time of 20 seconds, and an outrageous climb rate of 18.5 meters per second. So, in theory, this should be an absolutely incredible dogfighter for its tier. However, that does entirely de depend where we get put in the matchmaker. At the moment, it looks like we've had some favorable matchmaking, but that isn't necessarily always going to be the case. So, I'm interested to see, is this over-tiered, under-tiered, or just perfect where it is? That's, that's my question for today. Also, thank you to everyone that has told me how to use manual engine control, because now I can do full radiator and wep everywhere. I still don't think the MiG-3 should get an air spawn, personally. I just, I don't know. I just don't think it should. This is a nicely laid out cockpit. Well, for the, for the time in the war, at least. Well, that's no good. My guns are on safe. I can't be having that, can I? Right, so who are we against? We're against the US, the Luftwaffe, and the Italians. We've got quite a few squads on their team, so... <laughs> Why are you flying close at the soup stop? Also, I love in these early war planes, there's just a pylon. <laughs> right, right where there really shouldn't be one. Like right here. Couldn't you have just moved it to behind me? No. Oh, wait, there is one behind me. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> you know, I've never actually noticed that stick. What is that? That's a bomber, right? Oh, oh, okay. Interesting. Also, opinion. American aircraft in British colors always look better. Just saying. I don't make the rules. Them's the rules. Oh, and a Heinkel over there as well. Nice. So I know he's a fair bit away, but 50 cows do have quite a lot of reach. So... No. Okay. All right. The VG is going to get him. So my next question is, does having my radiator fully open all the time, does that affect my engine performance at all? I want to kind of see. Let's do that. It's 80%. Do we get more power? I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Hello, I'm cool. Oh. I mean, severe damage, but not really done much. Okay, well, he's got no tail. You got no tail, Lieutenant Dan. <gasps> He's at the soup store. I mean, at the moment, I don't feel like it's affecting my airspeed. Let's put them open again. No, I don't think it is. I'm not totally sure why guys you wouldn't make it so that you just have radiator open all the time then. But no, it is what it is. Right, we've got a key 643 kite here. Oh, what are you going to do? Oh, I can't get... I can't get it to do that. I mean, you are a kite, so... Oh! Okay, he's interested in the Fokker more than me. That does give me a chance. Okay, never mind. Never mind! <laughs> never mind! Yes, I got the Heinkel. Right, let's go get these guys that were down here but have disappeared. Okay, there they are. What I will say is that currently I'm not getting um, super plane vibes from this. Yet. I might do later on. But uh, right now at least. Oh, that was a nice... Oh, look at all of these potential kills right here. That rudder needs some work. Oh, oh, we love to see it. All right, now I'm getting super plane vibes. <laughs> So I've got to keep an eye on that rudder, because that rudder's... Whoa! Where'd you come from? Whoa! Okay. Now we're in trouble. Now we're in a bit of trouble. So let's see what can be done here. Aircraft down. 
Okay. Three kills already. I'll take it. Ah, you're a problem. Although, I'm hoping you're new. Yeah, A36. Yep. All right. Well, okay. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're, we're done. We are absolutely... I did not see those guys at all coming down for me. That really sucks. It's completely my fault, though. Um, first game in it. Is it a super plane? Mm, honestly, I'm not sure yet. I think it might just be really well tiered. I think it's a, I think it's going to be a very competitive plane, but I'm not yet sure if it's going to be like a, a, a tier destroyer. So we'll see. We'll keep going. Okay, Kursk. So what have we learned from the first match? Climbs decently well. Certainly isn't as much of a climber as I assumed it was going to be. No, you know, we're not out climbing 109s or 190s. But um, good climber. Great roll rate at speed. Obviously, the 650 calibers at this tier is going to be devastating regardless. What I the, the rudder's a little bit rough, but I get it. I understand. Uh, it's a big plane. The elevator is good at speed, but that turn time is going to get me in trouble, I think. So I'm going to have to play this a little bit more as an energy interceptor rather than an outright dogfighter. And that's okay. That's all right. So it, it wasn't happy at a 20 degree. So let's keep it around a 16. Let's get that. Um, so let's get that. Let's open that all the way up. And we'll put the oil radiator all the way up as well. Or all the way open, rather. Right, we have a multitude of targets over here. See what I mean? Like, the climb rate's good, but a P-39 is out climbing us. And I know the P-39 is a good aircraft, right? We've established that on the channel already. But um, we're dropping here. We're struggling to, to climb. But for an aircraft that has 18 meters per second, you know, something's... Something's a bit off. I thought they were going to have a jousting match then. Yeah, LA-5 is so much higher than us. Holy moly. This thing's really struggling to climb. Like, really struggling to climb. Now we've got an LA-5 that's going to be problematic. We need to build up energy. What are you going to do? Because I've got a big... Well, you've got an M1K behind you. All right. We'll see if we can set, set you up for the M1K. M1K doesn't give a fuck. All right. No, not today. Not today, thank you. Nope. We're not doing that, sir. We are not doing that. M1K is going to deal with him. I'm going to deal with these guys down here. All right, I'm going to go for the IL-2 first and then drop onto the back of the MiG-3, I think. Knew you said MiG-15. All right. Let's give it a go. Get to see what this... Uh, performance is like nice he's down mix three good hits nice he's down 217 get some hits nice didn't even get an assist on it though that's a shame yak nine is that their forward airfield yeah it is Oh, <laughs> yeah, not not good. That CW21 has, has bought it. There's no way. I can't believe this guy's missing, though. I'm trying to help you, dude. Where is it? Okay, good to know. Right, let's get rid of you first. Right, he's on fire. You're next. Cool. Let's go up. And around. I don't know where. Okay, he's coming in. LA-9. Or Yak-9, rather. IL-2's having a field day. You're going to be a problem soon. Let's quickly take you out. Cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Yeah. No, oh, I didn't. Yeah, the LA-5. <laughs> I mean, there's not much I can do against an LA-5, I'll be honest. But four kills. Nearly got that fifth. Nearly got that fifth.
Unless he crashes. But I doubt it. Oh, he might have done. No, he hasn't. Okay. Anyone, k you had one job. One job. Okay. Sicily. So we've gone from three kills to four kills. So we're getting better. Whether we'll be getting our ace in this match, I don't know. Um, it's a very good plane. And in fact, for the British specifically, I, it's probably going to be similar on the US tech tree. But for the British specifically, definitely pick this up as a premium for your low tier ground and um, lineup. Because as a premium, objectively, I'd say this is one of the best you can have. Is it like an uber fighter? It's certainly very good, but I wouldn't say that it's a complete match destroyer. I mean, like you saw there, the LA5 can outperform it very, very easily. Um, being at 2.7, if you get into a down tier, this... I mean, where are we at? Probably 2.3 at the moment, I think, right? 2.3, 2.7. It'll be pretty damn good. Oh, it's a historical battle. Nice. Um, but outside of that... I just think it's a very competitively tiered aircraft. I don't see it as an absolute monster right now. That might change. That might change over the course of this video. I really like low tier. Low tier is easily some of the best uh, dogfighting and gameplay you can have in War Thunder. It's so much fun. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for something that has an 18 meter per second climb rate. I'm not feeling that right now. It's not climbing particularly well. Alright, there's another Condor behind us over there as well. I know there's a Potes somewhere. Yeah, he's gonna engage these guys as well. I should use this mode more often. <laughs> it's, it's quite good. Alright, which one are you gonna go for? Alright, you're gonna go for that one. I'll go for this one then. Right. Can we get our aircraft to pitch up that much though no is the answer to that yeah it's not i don't know i just don't i just don't feel like this engine's doing that much right now like it's really struggling to even just pitch up and do anything you're a big fat american radial radial engine you should be all right oh man oh my god i'm falling out the sky come on pitch up my god Get your fat American ass up. I, I missed. I mean, those hit, but... I mean, they're doing something, but not much. I think... Is that his tail plane gone? I'm not sure. Oh, I cannot believe that. That's so disappointing from the Corsair. And a Condor is kind of but not getting away from me. Is the engine off? Interesting. Critical hit. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. Over there looks like fun. Where's their airfield? It's over there. Where? There. Okay. You're not on fire anymore again. Uh, come on. How many Corsairs does it take to... Or how much ammo does it take to bring down a Condor? Let's have a guess. Am I using the correct belts for um, 50 cals these days? I'm using ground targets. I uh, finally got the severe damage on him. There we go. My word. Right, that was a... Uh, yeah, you. Hey, finally. My word. Okay, nice. He's been ki team killed. That's fine, I guess. Oh, now it has energy. Hmm, go figure. Why is it not wepping? Hello? Please, weapons? No weapons. Okay. Fine. Nope, we're not doing that. Nope. 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 Not today, sir. Not today. Not today, sir. Thank you very much. Dang it. Oh. oh, dear. That one struggled. Not today, sir. Not today. Thank you very much. There we go. There we go. Right, he's... Condor is still up there. Why is my web not working? Why is it not doing anything? Why are you not webbing? Kind of wondering if that's why I'm struggling with performance, because my web isn't working for some reason. 
Ah. <laughs> All right. Okay. And I have no web. Does my web, web like run out or something? Ah. <laughs> right. Righty, 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 right. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. He's trying to get the altitude advantage over me so I can go. Okay, a couple of hits. We'll go for you next. Okay. Ah, uh, no, not today. No, not today. Nearly hit his teammate there. How are you keeping up with me? What? What is going on? This makes no sense. How is a 109E keeping up with me? I can't remember what his turn time is. So much for being an energy fighter. All right, we're going to do it. Because why not? No, not today. No. Let's use some combat flaps. He is lighter than me. But in theory, I'm meant to have the more powerful engine. So now I'm going to do that. Okay. That's kind of helped. Ish. Yep, that helped. Cool. He's down. I still don't know where my web has gone. I want my web. Give me my web back. Gaijin, why have you stolen my web from me? <laughs> nice, all right. They have committed seppuku. So the, the last guy left is the condor. I'm actually trying to work out where he is. Because it, I'm assuming... It's got to be on the runway then, right? Oh, there he is. I just, I just see, about see him. Just about see him. Does he crash? What is going on down there? Do you see that? All right, so he should be repaired about now. Yep, there we go. What's your plan? Are you going to jail or are you going to take off? I kind of don't want him to know I'm here for now. We're, that is a very steep climb for a condor. All right, let's trail him for a bit. I want him to get far enough away from the airfield that their anti-air won't do anything. That was an impressive climb for a four-engine bomber like that. All right, let's start on our approach. It won't be too long until he spots us. We are probably far enough away that we're somewhat safe from their anti-air now. So I need to aim for the engines, really. It's so about there. Oh, rudder. Bad time for that. There we go. That'll do. Lovely stuff. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Victory. All right. Four kills. So we didn't beat our four kill record. Um, I want to know where my web's going. Where is my web going? Because, uh, yeah, I, I want, I want my web back. I want my web back, please. Why's my web disappearing? Okay. Sicily again. Right. So in between the matches, I did a little bit of research and yes, the radiator does affect airspeed and climb rate, but also because I'm in a, um, in a Corsair, I should be using manual supercharger because apparently that makes a big difference it also told me to set my radiator to about 30 percent and my oil to about 60. so we are actually climbing a lot better already so once we start losing airspeed we shift it up a gear and the advice I've been given is that when we're getting into dogfights, let set it back to automatic engine control. So we shall see. So now it's losing airspeed. We shift it up a gear. I think it's above an X. I think it's about like 12, 1200 meters, 1500 meters, something like that. I'm kind of interested. So what happens if I go to gear one? Right, that slows us down quite a lot. Gear two. Gear two seems to be where we need to be right now. Yeah. Okay, that's a little bit, a little bit hot. So let's put it to about 50, 50%. I think this is going to take a few videos of me learning how to do this. I'm not going to lie. Oh, a Z1007. Mm. Well, at least we're climbing a little bit better now. Right, we're dropping airspeed. So now if we put it to gear three, does that change anything? Not really. Gear one slows us right down. Gear two. 
Get. Mm, hmm. All right, gear two for now. Let's see if we can get some pot shots this guy's way. Nope. Cool. All right, overheating. Let's uh, give ourselves a little more radiator. There we go. Cooling down the engine. Lovely stuff. Oh, there's lots of them down there. So I might now be able to turn in and get this guy. Uh, about there. Couple of hits. Couple of hits. Critical hit. Okay. What the hell just fell off my plane? Get out of here. Yep, you're on fire. Get the hell out of here. Right. Ah, we're missing an ele elevator. Problematic. All right. Give us a little bit more oil. Oh, it's a leak. Mm. All right. Auto engine control for now. Hello there. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. All right. We do have a leak and we've got to be aware of that. Did I get the severe on that Z107? I actually don't know. All right. Let's see if... I can't believe how responsive this still is. All right. Go... Ah, oh, that's bad. Come hither. All right, got him. Oh, okay. Can't do that. Let's go up. See if we can get this... Uh, this 109. All right, he's down. Good stuff. Really got to keep an eye on that oil leak. Yak one. Come on. Come on. Pitch me over enough. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. That's fine. We'll peel off this way. Keep an eye on that oil. It's not a massive oil leak right now, but it could it could become a problem. Come on, P40. Oh, man. Ah! Uh, why can't I pull? Are you going in? Mm, nope, not at the moment. Oh. Ah, oh, this is going to be hard. Oh, let's shift. Yeah, we're in trouble here. Oh, yaks doing yak things, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get the hell out of here. This is going to be an issue. This is going to be... Oh, that's an issue in itself. Oh. Uh, can I... Can I do that? No. Okay. Right. First match with manual engine control. Definitely is helping with climbing. Absolutely is helping with climbing. Um, that's going to be difficult for me to learn quickly. I'll keep going with it, though, because it definitely did help with the climbing. I think I'm just going to take a little bit of adjusting to get that right. Okay, Ladoga. Uh, I mean, that'll be great for our engine because it's going to overheat less. Um, yeah. Undecided on the Corsair being this completely overpowered plane right now i'm not i'm not feeling that that and you know what? i'm going to try tracer this this time around because some of you guys have suggest, suggested that um i'm not seeing it as this uber plane currently it's very good don't get me wrong great plane in fact fantastic premium i highly suggest um you pick it up as a premium but is it this uber plane right now mm, not really at least we have a big match this time around. That's really good. Apache running for his life. Average. This is climbing really nicely in this cold air. That supercharger is loving this cold air. That's about to be an interesting fight. Oh. Well, P3 got one. IL-2 can definitely take on those guys. Freaking Yak-1 out climbing a Corsair. Right, we are losing uh, airspeed now. So, gear two. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look at that airspeed. Oh, yes. Right, go on. Pitch up. 
Oh! Oh! Yes! Maybe I should have been using tracers this whole time. We'll see. I've got a couple of yaks over here, which are going to be a problem. Both of these in a group? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's put it into auto. Let the uh, instructor do its thing, and let's engage. Oh, DB3 down low. That might be two in one I can work with. I should be able to outdive a yak one. Yes. Yes. Come hither. Come hither. Oh, okay. Tracers are the way to go with 50 cows. Definitely. All right, he's gaining altitude, so we're going to do the same. 10 degree climb. All right. High engine RPM. Yeah, I appreciate that. Not gear three, gear one, gear two. All right, let's go. And gear one. Whoa, freaking yaks, man. The only really good news is that at speed, he can't really... Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Does not matter for a yak. <laughs> the Corsair, known as Wanda's the single fastest aircraft of the entire war, with the most powerful engine in a fighter. Nah. Nah, a f early war yak. Doesn't care. Doesn't care. Okay, so, uh, the Corsair. Yeah, definitely pick it up. Um, if you're looking for something to add to your low tier lineup, I would say that this is definitely a good buy. Uh, it's certainly not a super plane. So um, we've definitely answered that question. It's not a tier dominator like some of the aircraft that we've we've played uh, recently. Um, I would say it's competitive. It has a lot of flaws. Um, that rudder being a big, big problem with getting that nose on target sometimes, but it is a heavy plane. So you can kind of understand that. Um, for whatever reason, regardless on this stat card of you having 410 mile an hour, top speed 18 meter, meters per second climb rate um it does seem to still struggle uh competing with aircraft of similar rank so if we use what 2.7 if we use the 109 um or even the 109 f uh, f1 it's got a similar climb rate and that's been climbing out climbing us quite easily um no problem if we take the Yak 1B that we just faced against, that's over nearly 40 mile an hour slower. <laughs> and uh, a, a two meter per second difference in our climb rate. And um, that was still above us. So go figure. I'm not going to add extra for any extra further comment on that. Um, you can go work that out for yourself. But definitely worth picking up. Certainly a good low tier fighter. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Until next time, take care.